leaders of the Salvation Army, General Union and Commissioner Brown, Buckingham, Commissioners, Elders, Leaders of Salvation Army in Fiji, members of the Salvation Army, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening to you all. This evening, I am indeed grateful and honored to be part of this Golden Jubilee celebrations of the Salvation Army in Fiji having found way back in 1973. Fifty years is half a century, and you should all be proud of all that you have achieved and given back to the nation, to the church, the people, and communities, having fulfilled the vision and mission of which Salvation Army was founded. I have been fortunate to have very close friends and members family that belong to Salvation Army. And I'm proud that I had affiliations with them, as well as, as thus, I'm quite familiar with the work carried out in the Salvation Army in Fiji. The Salvation Army, I'm certain you're all aware that it is an international Christian organization founded in England in 1865 by William Booth. It was organized along quasi-military lines and devoted chiefly to evangelism with the ultimate aim to providing social services, especially to the people in poverty and in vulnerable situations. The Salvation Army's work is based on the Bible and its ministry. It's motivated by the love of God that is shown on earth with your mission in Fiji to assist the poor in the field of education. In looking after the vulnerable, and most importantly for us in Fiji, in the rehabilitation process of inmates so that they are fully accepted into society and can stand on their two feet and be independent. Its mission that is universal, that all churches are also working towards, is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in his name without discrimination. The Salvation Army in Fiji currently running prison ministry, providing shelter for women in Suva, Lotoka, and Lambasa, and actively running the 16 church corps around the country that are engaged in community and social work, is a clear testament of the great work that has been carried out in the past 50 years. Now, where to from here after having reached 50 years? I am certain that your leaders have planned out and our duty as believers in the church is to pray about the plans and assist in the implementation of the plans. I had the privilege of meeting your international and local church leaders and elders at the State House on Thursday where they had shared a glimpse of the next 50 years. I assure you that all the plans shall be exciting, focusing on the mission mission impact, people skills and capacity and sustainability. The plans are set up not only on holistic but equally forward-looking in terms of relevance and compatibility. I'm happy to learn that the discussions are underway for the Salvation Army to commence re-engagement with the government to start discussing on how Salvation Army can align and support or drive government projects and initiatives within your mandate. The saying, no man is in line, is true. And we will all continue to work collaboratively for the betterment of our fellow citizens, and most importantly, for humanity 
and the surroundings that we live in. On behalf of the government and the citizens of Fiji, I convey our collective acknowledgement and appreciation for the work that you have carried out in the last 50 years. And we look forward to your continued commitment and goodwill for the common good of our mutual interest. I take this one time again to complete, convey the blessings and good wishes to Salvation Army in Fiji for the next 50 years. On that note, on behalf of my family and my office, and all the citizens of Fiji, I convey our best wishes and wish you and your family a blessed Christmas and a prosperous New Year. May God bless us all, bless the Salvation Army, and continue to bless our beloved nation. Fight bravely for our people and the cities of our God. 